Yo, what is up, y'all, and welcome to another stormative stream. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty exciting day in the context of uh, streaming Super Mario World. So I just completed an intermediate Kaiser hack for the first time. Yeah, that, that, that's one of my gaming accolades, you know. Uh, it'll be on my YouTube. So the proof is all there. And uh, we're going to maybe complete this hack today as well. I don't know how hard the levels are going to get. But um, I was going to play this level. And we are going to play that level, but not yet. I um, I had a revelation and gained some insight into... Uh, why this level name is a clue. Um, and like, it's like I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. So it's like, what if Mario needs to like, um, get hurt by stuff? Oh, dang it, bro. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're gonna need some save state technology for this journey. I've already spent a lot of time in this level and like honestly for a level named after a song I find the music really like annoying. Oh god. I don't know what it is just that this on the other track is just like weird to me. I don't know if something's out of key or like the key it's in or something. I, I need to throw it like that so the um doesn't come back down and hit him. Alright, so I can probably just jump into it like while it was swimming in front of me. I think this is a Banjo Kazooie song. Dot Cookie, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. I haven't seen you in a while, lol. <laughs> no, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. Totally appreciate it. That's that's really interesting. Uh, you saying that message there, that might have prompted me to listen through the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack next time I'm playing like Street Fighter or Fall Guys. Or maybe later while I'm playing Binding of Isaac. That'd be pretty Pogs champ. Oh! Almost. Hey, no worries. Been a while since you streamed. Yeah, I've been like away, like doing other things, like sitting in this chair and um, publishing a VOD of me beating this hack called A Story About an Island. I've been like, took like many months since I streamed since then. So. <laughs> no, yeah, that sounds like Mad Monster Mansion, I think. Life been busy for real. Yeah, you already know. Cause like, I don't know, maybe I dislike this song that's familiar to me because I really disliked playing Banjo-Kazooie as a kid. So if it was something like that weird neurons connecting in my mind, that'd be really funny. Such a short song, that's probably a part of it too. But um... Yeah, I have to say that the music in the Rareware games, like Donkey Kong Country and um, DK64, Banjo-Kazooie, Conquers Bad Fur Day. Some really cool stuff. Alright, please hurt me. A sentence you can only say when you're playing this level no other time in life because it's weird. Uh, let's just do that, I guess. Okay. Um, I was a Banjo-Kazooie kid back in the day. Rare had some really good composers. Goldeneye and Perfect Dark has some gems as well. Yeah, um, yeah, I had Goldeneye growing up as well, and like, um, I didn't really play it that much, but I remember I thought the music was sick. And I, re I learned about Perfect Dark, like, 
not not that long ago. Um, Cause there was some time when I was streaming Street Fighter Six, and I like listened through um, half the soundtrack. Cause I had never um, I'd never played the game or heard the soundtrack. But once I learned it was rare, I was like, I gotta check this out, and it's really cool and all that. All right. So <laughs> Now this is good music. I guess this uh, stage was designed to be annoying music and then awesome. I actually mod Goldeneye sometimes when I feel like it. That's pretty cool. What kind of um, mods have you like done or been interested in? Like, is it all a similar type, or you done like some different kind of stuff? Or oh, hold on, wasn't it this song but weird? I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely is. <laughs> okay, this stage is really fantastic. Congrat? Or no, sorry. Congratulation, you did it. Well, night mods are usually custom missions. Does it include like a story and stuff? Like, hey man, we need to go do this thing, or like this this guy is a wanted fugitive, we must eliminate, or like, because <laughs> that might make me kind of interested if that is the case. I'm guessing it's mostly about like the spacing and the. Maybe the weapons you get, and the weapons the enemies have? I don't really know anything about it though, other than the, having seen some gameplay a while ago. Yeah, I did the Russian bunker story through like 10-20 missions. Dang, it sounds like a huge project. I thought you meant you only did like, some like little like changing a gun a little bit mods when you said like, sometimes I feel like it, but that sounds like a... Goldeneye ROM hack or something, like, to that level. <laughs> so do you try to, um, have it seem like a Goldeneye 2? Like, are you sort of sticking with their style, or do you like to have really different level design in some way? You release a mission at a time? That's really sick. So people can go and follow the story. That's like when people watch a TV show one episode a week, bro. <laughs> on TV and whatnot. Just whatever I feel like making. Yeah, there's a whole world about like people who can be creative with like making Super Mario World and Goldeneye and so many other games have stuff like that and I'm like surprisingly not so involved in that even though I'm kind of like a variety gamer person. But I made the training series as well. Which are really experimental levels, nice. Like I've played a decent bit of Trackmania on stream. Trackmania also is really like that and alright, that was that was really fun. I could have listened to that song all day, but um save that for when we listen to the Banjo Kazooie soundtrack. Maybe I'll listen to the whole thing this weekend do a really long Street Fighter 6 stream. But anyway, I think this is the last big overworld section level exit that we need. Perhaps. Uh, Mario Globetrotter. Okay, let me update this exit count. Exciting. I'm trying to figure out if this loop like has any music or rhythm to it. There's definitely something going on there, but again, I could listen to that all day and think about it, but I'm gonna refrain from doing that. France, all right. Oh, I just jumped. I was on the plane. I just jumped right off the plane and landed down here, I guess.
Um, I, I know I've seen this somewhere. Can't quite place it. Oh no, France. <laughs> very lovely. It's gonna get like a lot harder or something. This sounds like this must have been like a song from a Super Nintendo game originally. This is so like perfect for the vibe. Mario is missing? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I had that game growing up and I played that just as much as I'm <laughs> just as much as I played other Mario games. I swear it's true. Such a weird game. Definitely gonna beat that on stream sometime, no cap. Like, why isn't Mario is missing on the Nintendo Switch Online Super Nintendo Collection? That's what I wanna know. That's a serious problem. I got cigarettes in their mouth. Oh god. Oi, can you spare a fag, mate? No. No way, those things are nasty, man. No cap, for real, for real. Man, we're just mixing all kinds of dialects together at the same time, and I really love it. Get sniped, boy. There's another one. So is this like a victory lap kind of level where like we're kind of just chilling or... Am I just that good that I don't even know what's challenging anymore? Go sideways. Oop. Nice. I am going to name this one Waluigi. Goodbye, Waluigi. I must see what this contains. Ah, uh, that was lame. Wall. Luigi. Yeah, he's kind of built like a wall. If you looked at it from like... If you, like, he's built like a wall if you looked at it from like the, the side. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Makes me want to play some more Mario Tennis. It was like one of the first things I streamed. Alright, I'm taking an L here. Homemade built out of raw materials, for real, for real. Wait, is that really a Waluigi one? I can't tell if that's purple or blue. But it does run me on Waluigi. That was just a cool pissero. Nice. I like how he's wearing a hat. And I, I used the word hat in the stream title. It's totally fitting the vibe. Or complimenting the vibe, I should say. All right, let's go to Russia so we can see Zangief or something. <laughs> the only way I climb is when I do the crouch jump climb. <laughs> oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, yeah, Pissero cool and Pissero happy. The duality of man, Pissero cool and Pissero happy. <laughs> Alright, well, you came at me, bro, now you must die. So, what, I can't go through those green ones, right? Okay. Nice. Isn't this like actually a Canada song or something? Oh shoot. Dang, they got some nice cars in Canada. I'm trying to cop one for real though. 
Like what what the heck is that thing underneath the the driver's side door? Like those spikes right there? Like Like that there's no way that that can be like anything other than spikes on the side of the car. It's for like uh what do people call that? Like battling cars or like um I don't know, I'm totally drawing a blank or something, but like when people like use cars as weapons. Alright, um, so I need to spin jump there anyway. The O Canada song. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, this makes me feel pretty uh, patriotic. Okay. Um, all right. Low ceiling. Nice. <laughs> also nice in the chat. Nice. I feel like that's gotta be one of my first emotes or something. But nah, I think the first bunch of them will just be cats. Ultimate challenge. Can I get through Canada with no mushroom? Yeah, I mean, th this is really great and everything, but um, can't say I'm a huge fan. Yeah, that really high ceiling thing is pretty funny. I'm totally good. Um, I'd like to eliminate these targets. Or just run through YOLO. gonna stay there and bounce back and forth between those? I hope so. My guess is yes based on how difficult the rest of the level has been. Didn't you save state? Um... Yes, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, I did not want to get through that ceiling part again. I totally forgot about that. My my goldfish attention span level shit or something. <laughs> Autopilot be cray cray. Absolutely true. Second, that's not the right one. Hold up. There we go. Man, are there even any like Street Fighter characters from Canada? Must not be a cool country. That was so dumb because like I thought I didn't bounce off the fireball, and I realized I did, and that was weird. Anyway, um, <clears throat> talking, reading. Canadian location brought to you and inspired by the P and the U are like perfectly overlapping. I think it's um it's a match made in heaven. Uh, Rust Valley Restorers. Watch on Netflix today. Did someone say flex? I don't want to break this shirt though. I just got this thing. So. <laughs> no, just kidding. But yeah, so what is the next thing to do? Next country. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> he came back. 
came back from the dead just to kill me. It's flexing too hard. <laughs> Pain. Yeah, that was, that was an excellent content moment. I consider this an absolute win. <laughs> but that was totally fine because this is all uh, not bad. Yeah, yeah, try to do that again, son. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, USA. Aw, oh, really? Can't we just skip this one? So many other countries you could have gone to. Nice. <laughs> that level was so shocking. That level used confusion on me and it was super effective. No cap. <laughs> Rut row. That was an even better content moment. It's all about the content. I must suffer for the sake of content. That is the Super Mario World ROM hack content creator way. But yeah, it was really funny because like I was um watching Shoto's stream one time and um she was like, yeah, like a lot of people say like Super Mario World, you have to be like a masochist and I think she said something like I don't I don't really get that or I don't get why that's a thing or like that she didn't feel that way, something along those lines, and like I thought it was just a really funny response to that. Alright, well, since I am hearing this song, now I must um, end the stream and go rewatch Breaking Bad for the 7,000th time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did actually watch it twice. Because it's really good, but... Sorry, it only uh, gets easier from here, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I won't be able to see where exactly the low baseball is until I freaking go down here. That's what I thought. <sighs> oh. Oh yeah, it bounces high. Oh my god. Desert on a horse with no name. Something about getting out of the rain. <laughs> Remember your name. Cause there ain't no one for to give you no name. And we have scored another dialect on the stormative stream. <laughs> A level. Yeah, it's really um, Pog Champ. No, it's not really Pog Champ. It's really um, good at doing something, but I don't know how to explain that. This level is making me realize why they chose the United States as a freaking destination on this this travel or whatever and oh that doesn't even work either crouch jumping is the answer If you look closely, you'll notice that the white part of the American flag sort of looks like a bunch of the letter D. Because it's an important letter in uh, American culture. Ooh! Alright, B. It's okay, though. 
Yeah, because like D for defense, like uh, American football, obviously. I keep trying to go on this short bounce. Like, not like literally trying to go for that, but all the times I go, it is there. And oh man, this is this is the worst level and the worst hack ever. Oh, a first time chatter. Oh, the perfect timing. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, what's up, uh, Lucia Jacob? Welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, so not, not every uh, Super Mario World ROM hack level is as bad. I don't know if you have seen these before or not. Also dropped a follow. Very much appreciated. How's your day going? It's good. It's been very good. How about yours? Yeah, it's already my second stream of the day and it's only 6.33 p.m. And I worked eight hours today, so uh, consider this an absolute win. No, these all look like this trust. Wait, wait, these and this? This has too many pronouns for me to know what you mean. <laughs> oh, that's good. I am good. Just having some pasta. Nice. I hope you have some really thick red sauce to go with it. Don't want to skimp out on the red sauce and use the thin one. I am HO. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah, he needs to kick that the other way, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, how long do you stream today? All the levels look like this. Winking face, what a goofy level. Um, how long do you stream today? I'll probably stream until, like, um... nine thirty or 10, something around there. Um, do you play this game only or do you play other games also? I play other games also. Holy lag. No, I think, I think, uh, exactly the opposite. I think this lag came from hell. <laughs> but, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. I'm, I'm really lucky to be a person who, like, not only has a bunch of video games, but uh, more importantly, I have a bunch of passion for a bunch of video games. So I really enjoy like playing them and um, streaming them and whatnot. Had some really good matches last night with Dalsim and uh, Street Fighter VI. That was pretty cool. Well, if you don't mind, I would like to suggest you some artwork on your stream. You don't say. And here I thought this was just a gamer looking for some gaming content on Twitch, casually eating pasta. Looks like I was mistaken. <laughs> Suggest Pissero. Yeah, like Lucia Jacob. Don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but um, I'm going with all Pissero. For all my artwork, so um, spots already been filled. But go ask somebody else in a different stream. Uh, and th thanks again for the follow. But yeah, like you, I I don't want to waste your time. You know, you're an artist. I don't want to waste an artist's time. And um, gonna go find a stream who needs your services. But I currently don't. Oh, I need to be up there. All right, wait, ah, oh, dang it, it wasn't even it. I don't even know what's gonna happen after this either. So now what? Um, all right, you gonna come over now? Oh, I was gonna hit that anyway, that was nice. Um. 
This is a Pithra only household. Yeah, like, um. Pithra is better than Twitch graphic design artists who try to solicit you in your own Twitch chat. Yeah, I'm calling out all you guys. I'm calling out all you guys who are following me and all you people who do that and all you people who send bots to do that. I do not particularly like the way that you all conduct your business. Just had to throw it out there. The VOD watchers are going to be so confused. No, no, VODs all contain the chat replay nowadays, am I right? I, I hope that is true. I think that's true. Disclaimer, I love America. I just think it has some kinks it has to work out right now. I can only hope for the best in the future. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> On Twitch, yeah, on YouTube, export, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, that that's why um, streamers put the chat on the stream. I'm going to get um, an extension to do that at some point, too. But yeah, no, in the sands of time when only the YouTube remains, people will be like, what the heck is this weird guy talking about? But they already thought that before I was reading chat anyway, so. <laughs> how, do I, how do I read that message block over there? What the heck, dude? You must need the cape or like to break the level or something. Lore, the plumber could only afford to go to three countries this vacation, Team Jank. Where's he from? Japan? Because if like we went to the United States. I don't know. Lol. Lol and GG. We're at the magic number of exits complete now. 42. And also, um, I don't know if you know this level, Dot Cookie, but I really hate this level. <laughs> this one right here. Just anybody out there, if, if you want to know how I feel about uh, Grounded Disco featuring DJ Skeleton, yeah, I kind I kind of hate this level. I, I just wanted to throw some more shade on it because that's how much I hate it. And, um, Sometimes you have to you have to just listen to like my favorite Star Wars quote of all time. Let the hate flow through you. So um, yeah, on that positive note, let's go over to Rackville. <laughs> Not a fan, more like a heater for real. Um, yeah, I I don't know about heater, but I I sleep with a hammer under the pillow. <laughs> Or something. I forgot how that was related to like that. I think like talking to people in chat will help me like stay on one train of thought more instead of like going in a lot of different directions. It'll probably be like a mix of both. Yeah, I, I can totally see that. Like, like, like a Dragon Ball Z fusion. But yeah, <laughs> I should have gotten a clip of this one time. But one of my favorite, um, Twitch moments was not too long ago. I was on uh, Barbarous King stream and I typed the message um, something like, Have you ever imagined doing a Dragon Ball Z fusion with Link Dead? <laughs> and he like read it on the stream, and a bunch of people in chat were like, What the heck is this guy talking about? Yeah, but that was really funny. Well, let's, let's see this one more time. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna beat them all anyway, I don't care. Yeah, I, um, okay, I already read this one time, so I'm not gonna, like, read these again. Yeah, that, like, I'm not, I, I remember laughing about that, it's like, as if they want content creators to not get mad. Um... to read it out, Lamau. Friend Spring. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, okay. I thought these were gonna be like challenge levels. This seems like a gimmick that would like just be fun and pretty easy. I don't know, I might be cursing myself. 
I mean, jinxing myself. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, nice. Hmm. Yeah, that, there's two reasons that I need to get the chat on stream at some point. One is for emotes. Because despite how much I uh, contemplate how I can um, expand the English language and the way people use language, I'm still completely at a loss for how to uh, communicate images verbally. It's a pretty difficult challenge. What the hell is going on? Uh, but anyway, emotes, and then when people type messages in chat that I like, don't want to read out loud. Which there's only been one instance of that that wasn't something I wanted to have banned. There was one guy who was being like an asshole who got banned. And then this one guy was just being really weird. I guess it was kind of funny. But it was such a cringe message I could not read it out loud. Ooh. But yeah, I always think it's funny when streamers will like read messages out loud because like a lot of my favorite streamers like aren't afraid to do that but like a lot of other streamers or something like it seems like they would like see some messages and they're just like it's not if it's not something they would say they won't say it sometimes or stuff like that. But like it's just all about the uh... I like when it's like that a lot more. <laughs> um, it's all about what people want to do with their content and I overthink a lot of things. Which isn't really true like in my opinion but like people... There's been so many times in my life where I talk about something I'm thinking about which to me is thinking in like a really basic way. And people are like, oh you're overthinking. And so to me, like, any thinking my mind does is kind of overthinking. For most people's definition of overthinking. Um, but yeah, for people who, like, uh, also find streaming and Twitch and Twitch culture, and in particular the stormative come up, for people who find that kind of stuff interesting, you'll be glad to hear that I like to, uh, speculate about and talk about these kind of things. Or just talk about talking about things. I'd probably do more of that than talking about things. <laughs> Alright, this could be the run. Nice. It would have been the run if the thing below me went vertically instead of horizontally there, but obviously it's just going to keep alternating and apparently that's going to keep happening, which is really ugly. Well, it's about that time, guys. Might be seeing the game over. level was going so well and then that started happening. Didn't you guys have any play testers? WTF? Yeah exactly right. Well I think s something was wrong with how that level like spawned in or something since that same glitch kept happening over and over because obviously if they noticed that it would have made it not happen but it could have been intentional for all I know since it's team jank. Peak level design. Should probably save that one for last. Maybe we're good. Yeah, there was just something interacting there that was very strange. It's probably a one in two or three hundred or greater chance, I bet. Dang it. 
I wanted to do the tall jump, but like he's right there to the right, so. I mean, I should have probably just done like, try to do a short jump. Can't do that short of a jump off a spring though. As far as my knowledge goes. I should just go like all the way to the right every time with that. I think that was all I needed to do basically. <laughs> Ooh, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, GG. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. Fun fact. Um, oh, I forgot to do that earlier. It's like in the middle of publishing the VOD when I went live, I guess. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to change this too. There we go. Nice. <laughs> GG easy. GG no re. Yeah, this is a great stream so far. Pog champ. Let's do one more, then I'll take a break. Uh, I once was a bird, or I, I was once a bird. Is that what I said? This isn't a cape level, is it? Can't go to the left. <laughs> um. Oh. I, I don't know what this, what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely the perfect song to have with a gimmick that looks this stupid. <laughs> is a level of all time. Yeah, I um, can't wait for somebody to make an entire hack of like this. I'm sure at some point in the very distant future that'll happen. Oh. This is a really good arrangement of this song though. Oh, what? It was going to harmonize? What, what the heck kind of thing was this guy cooking with this arrangement? Uh, it doesn't even matter if we get to the gold tape. I have to hear more of this song. Um, oh, so that like kills me. Okay. Yeah, I got to jump between those. Do, 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 do. So what, only the first one resets the music? Or no, but only going down there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess they couldn't have done them both, right? Well, <laughs> why the heck did he even spin jump? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, this is really weird. Oh, so you're supposed to do that. Wow. And then probably it's better to stop doing it there. Pog champ. Oh my god. <laughs> I had the perfect opportunity. RIP.
Well, this is how you usually like to play cape levels anyway, just like running through like this the whole time. Rip and dip. Yeah, it's crazy for how much I like eating chips. I don't get the dip with them. I did get some really good like salsa and guacamole though. Last few times I went to the store. Some good stuff. I've been waiting to try like the mango salsa. I think I'm gonna try that sometime kind of soon. Like, I don't really like mangoes and spicy stuff, but like if it's like mangoes like cut into like pieces the same size as the tomatoes in the salsa, it can be pretty good. He's jumping too low. Uh, so it's easier to do this part like this in spinning around infinitely mode. And now we can go into this mode. We've got two different modes to work with here, basically. Um... Just vibing. Ooh. It's nice that that's there. So what, is it better to like... You can only land that jump if you don't land like... Um, if you don't like slide up to that gate. Oh my god. Of course. Ah, oh, no. Oh, that was another checkpoint. Sweet. So, this part is meant to be like this, too. Hmm. You can't even get a high jump with that, it's in the way. Oh god, this is so horrible. No! I don't know if I should like... Oh, that's close enough to it, that's fine. Let me put this here in case I accidentally load, but um... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Just flipping back and forth between these two is like... Maybe I should just try it in this mode. Like, it's hard to quickly get to the right while you're doing this, but... Oh my god. <laughs> this level is, like, literally insane. Just, like, just take that idea of, like, controlling the character on the screen and, like, cover it in, like, melted butter. Must be why the cape is yellow. Oh, dang it. Speedrun mode. GG. Um, so what, is this like easy or something? Ooh, um... No, it's not easy. So like, we need to pretty much go right away, right? <sighs> what the heck keeps happening there? Like I'm jumping, I'm jumping a little too soon. You have to wait for it to get a little bit lower. That's kind of almost it. Um. Is there something about doing that and like taking a long time? But I'm probably just gonna kill them, right? I still have the really fast gravity. We can salvage this run. 
One jump at a time. That's why there's no timer. Wait, am I gonna be able to go to the right of the <laughs> to the right of this one-way wall? Because if so, this will be the perfect setup. The dream is alive. All right, this is the ultimate setup, guys. There's no way I can fail. I like went to jump right and then I didn't and I just like jumped right. Oh, uh, so annoying. So like, I don't know if you're supposed to like switch to this one after you bounce off the shell. Or if I was literally supposed to get on the right side of this thing and like, Now we got one, <laughs> one guy we can jump off. Perfect jump. Not the right um, spot. Okay, now I kind of understand more how like we need all five of them so I can like bounce up them when they're on their way down. But like I don't really understand how I can get that bounce. Wait, don't slide off the edge. Oh god. Am I gonna regret doing this? Oh wait, no, we can we can save this. We have the technology. Okay, so I was supposed to switch to the other jump. It's so pretty. This is like um, what half of a DNA helix looks like. Moving around inside your body, or like millions of them or whatever it is. Wait, there's more. Yeah, my brain is short circuiting. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I was gonna take a break after this level. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break real quick, guys. I'm gonna um wait, hold on. Oh, and I wanted to hear this music anyway. I'm gonna take a break and crank up this music and jam out. I'm gonna turn up a little bit. Just turn up the audio a little bit on your guys' end. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in two or three minutes. Anybody who's checking this out, you're welcome to stay around. Thank you guys for the support. Short break, BRB.
All right, well, I'm back. And you know what they say about uh, streaming on Twitch, you know, like, um, born too late to explore the earth, born too early to explore the universe, born at the perfect time to explore Twitch culture and dank memes. I always thought that there, there's like some other variation of like a really similar saying that was kind of a paraphrasing of that. Oh, we're on ice now. Derpy Mario on ice. Guess everything really does get to on ice at some point. Alright, looks like the stream is good. Oh, that's there so you like can't do that. So it is kind of better to slide to the right while it's down there. And then do one of these jumps, maybe? Mm. Um. Just another jump where I won't be able to do this when I'm up against this gate. I feel like it kind of is. So you're just supposed to freaking slide through and oh never mind. Pog champ, let's go. Ah, oh, what the heck was that? You want me to freaking slow down when I'm on a roll, man? Um Yeah, no, that kind of or wait, that'll work if I go slower. I'm going like a lot slower. Oh, this is so annoying, dude. I mean, I'm really good at button mashing, so it's not really that bad. Oh. Thanks to all my years of playing Street Fighter. Okay. Bruh. I keep going in there too fast, gotta slow down. No! This part isn't even that bad. I don't know why this is taking so long, dude. Oh my god. Part of the level has gotten the best best of me. I can no longer play patiently. If this were a fight a game set, I would probably give up a perfect round. Oh my god. Just stop pressing the d-pad already. Um, okay. What the heck was that, dude? <laughs> I was like on the corner of that block for like 1.3 seconds. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I thought that was actually gonna like make it. That was crazy. Why did it happen again? I mean, I know why, because that thing's moving to the right, but I'm just like, why did it happen again? <laughs> Gotta slow down. Nope. Let's do that. It's 
seems kind of tough. Like, getting off of that gray platform might be kind of tough, but, like... I'm so not in tune with this, uh, control scheme that I'm not sure what's easy or difficult exactly. I mean, the whole level has been pretty consistent level of difficulty, so I'll at least say that that's really good, because with this trick it could have been, like, <laughs> something a lot worse, I guess. I usually don't like to have my heater, like, running in the background of my stream, but, like, it's already about to be below freezing. Don't know if it comes through on the mic, or hopefully not that loud or something, but... Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know if I can just like stop spinning and hold still on that thing, if that would help. Okay, um, I probably just need to stay spinning, I'm guessing. Cause I at, least, I at least need to stay in the spinning mode, like, up until that point. So it probably is meant to persist through, I think. Dude, oh my god. Alright, I'm using a save state down there because we need to we need to grind this out. I'd like to have the luxury of grinding this out. Cause I don't even know how hard the jump is gonna be. to get from that thing to, uh, the next platform, but I think this will be the last trick. My theory about this level is this is near the end. Oh man, this is like a rapid fire attempt. Okay, so I can just hold still from doing that, okay. Good to know, and whatever, um... Nice. Aw, oh, dang it. It's not quite over yet, actually. Okay. Having the, the two coins, like their way of saying, like, hey, play in this mode. Well, to get over there, you actually have to jump like this, right? Or, I mean. Am I barely to the right of it? Yeah. Yeah, you can jump over there and spin jump if you're to the right of this thing. Oh wait. That's not even gonna work. Yeah, so it has to... To do that all kind of quickly or whatever. Okay, okay. Get me out of there for a second. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go up kind of quickly. First get to the right. Oh my god. It looks like a really high... Like, this mode is so weird, dude, I swear. Just a little bit is fine. No, <sighs> dang it. I, I don't even know what happened there exactly, but at some point I completely lost control. Ah. Oh. Or we can just go right away. Um All right, it's all coming together. Am I going to like land on the platform? <laughs> Like that I can be on both from here. Yeah. <sighs> what the heck, dude? I need to I need to try to jump up and down on the second one and just like not move to the left or right like this. Do this on the one on the right until it's time to go. All right. At last, the bird can fly again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's continue and save. Off fence. All right, well, we're gonna do those first. Um, save the game. Okay, yeah, I think we're at now 44. Nice. All right, Pog Champ. So um, yeah, let's let's save that for last. That'll be great. So let's go see a message from Billy Joel with three exclamation points. Um, one of Mario's favorite songs is "Only the Good Die Young" by Billy Joel. So naturally, to connect with this song, he conducts a satanic ritual that allows him to extend his life when he kills enemies. What fun. Oh, um, okay. That seems pretty cool. Speedrun level. Oh, goodbye key. I only knew ye for a short amount of time. Speaking of a short amount of time. Oh wait, I need to jump up there then jump there. So wait, do I have to throw this shot like backwards or something?
I don't know what just killed me. <laughs> oh wait, I probably ran out of time. Yeah, that was definitely it. Oh, what? The key is here? I didn't- I didn't know you could do that. That's a cool- that's a cool thing I just learned. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's not like I know like every key jump trick or something, but I- I'm really kind of surprised it's a thing. You can use a key to get in a pipe and bring the key with you. I do have to do it like that. Um, or no, I don't know. I I think I just need to go faster, and I think the throwing it backwards strategy is good. I like this level. I'm not a huge fan of the music. Um, all right, well, I guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> the way that, that that note drops, like, every time the key is just, like, gone forever is really funny. <laughs> Didn't really work that time, because I was also dead. Yeah, I, so it'll probably be either near the middle of the munchers or like <clears throat> on the left side, I think. Called it. to do. Uh, throw this up there. Go in there. Too late. R.E.P. Okay, so throw the throw block up to go in the pipe. And just run into these guys. Need the shell. Hit that, hit that, hit that, use the key to go in there, okay. That's neat. This is a, this is a fun level. Like, I get like the music is like, it's kind of fast, it's a speedrun level, but like... I, I don't, I don't feel like the aesthetics are exactly matching still. Yeah, you might you might say it's somewhat jank or something, janky hack. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Feels bad, man. Well, uh, we can take a brief intermission as we continue. Um, go to the one up farm. At some point, I'll come back here and check all that stuff. The one thing was only done like once we completed all the exits, anyway, so. I think we got the best one-up farm. Oh, 
Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by, Nikali. What's up? comes to gathering one-ups, I may have been somewhat disrespectful since I was teabagging the one-up cannon, but let the record show that I did not take a single one-up more than I needed. Don't want to be wasteful. You know, never. Alright, Nikali, we're gonna play some more levels. Devour! Hour! Hour! Nice one. But yeah, um, it's cold weather as my eyes feeling pretty dry. I mean, I might have to freaking put in some eye drops later. I kind of hate doing that, but I should probably just do it more. Okay, a message from Billy Joel. Just normal taking care of a human body things. There's the note. It's like... That, that, that is such at a perfect moment to just like <laughs> ironically hear like a really trampet fanfare as I'm thinking wow that key should have been right there <laughs> uh, that was not right Perfect. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I really like about this music choice and the timing of the level. It must have been lined up to be that way. It's like it's so perfect. I like hesitated there because I was looking down at the shell. Don't look, don't think, just do, right? Unless that happens. <laughs> yeah, well, this one might take a little while, I guess. Um, I keep jumping too soon, too fast. Six seems like really loud. I gotta turn it down again. It's like way over there to the left. Well, it's definitely a losing run anyway. Gotta be one with the speed. We're on a really uh, short timer, like this whole freaking time. All right, I like subconsciously realized something I can do to go faster. And I don't even like remember what it was right now. That's totally fine. That was not fine. Go, go, go! That's gonna be really fun. I think I was thinking about throwing this shell on the ground instead of in the air. Yeah, 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 definitely. The 
key. What are you doing here? Oh yeah, I'm two for two. I'm kind of the goat. <laughs> the goated key jumper. But yeah, no, I, I honestly really look forward to eventually uh, playing through some levels or a bunch of levels that use key jumps. It's probably my favorite gimmick or definitely one of them. Alright, well... I don't know if I should use a save state here. I feel kind of bad using one at a speedrun level. That's fine. Alright, am I going to definitely lose now because I did that? Not necessarily. No! But I keep throwing it so low. Yeah, this part is really going to annoy me, so I'm kind of glad I did that. What the heck, bro? Get out of here. I need to like do like three shell jumps basically. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's pretty much just the challenge. Do three shell jumps in a row. Like twenty years later. Alright. Oh my god. There's just something about the spacing of shell jumps that like does not really click to me. I think it worked better when I was like farther back or something. Oh my god, no! <laughs> it was the perfect run and the key had to get stuck in the wall. best decision of all time. Use a safe state here. Ooh, go in. Okay. So hopefully there's an enemy to kill like right after that. I mean I feel like there's gotta be. Nope. Oh, I can just throw it to the right. Gotta start doing that. Lobbing it to the right, I guess. How the how much time do I freaking need, bro? Like, <laughs> okay, wait. No, I was doing something wrong. I think. This is going to be so much fun. That's why. Okay, okay. I thought we were going to take this shell to kill the uh, big boo. And then once the shell didn't go through the pipe, I'm like, there's only one option left. Please tell me this is a way to get some more time. It'd 
it'd be best to like spin jump on it just like right there. Some like different controls, like I'm like moving around so like crazy. Like people are gonna shut them consistently. Like maybe I should just play a really good introductory shell jump hack or something, and just learn more about this skill. I have no idea how to do. that jump either, dude. Oh my god. I'm learning how to do a thing. did learn something or something like that. Such an infuriating challenge. Content warning for the flashing lights of how much I'm switching back and forth from safe state into this area. <laughs> but yeah, it is it is really fun to try to hit these blocks three times and then spin jump on this shell. And then not oh wait, do I need to like slide there or something? I made it there without sliding, so I think we are supposed to slide there. That will that will give some more speed, I think. So that should be really helpful. Sliding momentum, I think you need to like keep holding down or something. I forget exactly how that works. Okay, we need some more of those perfect runs though. That's probably what we'll need to freaking get through this thing. <laughs> Best time for a key enter pipe maneuver ever. It's gotta be a cool name for that trick, but I don't know what it is. Dang it, stupid key. <laughs>
what if I use the save state here? I think that would save us all a lot of time and pain and suffering. I didn't really need it. I could just tell that was a really good run. I was like, please don't let this one go. Alright, so the timer hasn't started. Oh no, did I screw myself out of this? No! It's a good thing we can respawn here anyway. Is this what I think it is? I don't know what I don't know what it is. It's not what I thought. Okay, so I grabbed that on the way up. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a bomb. Totally forgot. Well, this is nice. This is a very nice reprieve from the shell jumping hell that I just escaped from. It's a lot better if it goes that fast. So we can replicate that, and I can also grab the bomb. So I think if it starts to go back, that we're screwed. So like, I'm just gonna try to stay on it for as long as possible. I think. Yeah. Should try to throw this thing up without jumping. I think I kept jumping when I was doing that, but. Oh, I can just stay on it? <laughs> of course I don't die down there. What the heck was I thinking? Well, that just got a whole lot easier, maybe. I think I just need the bomb a little more to the left. To stand to the left, I guess? Or, or no, let's just throw it sooner. down there or no throw the shell straight and then it goes down there dang it I guess I need to do that don't know why or wait so I no, that's how I get the shell. I have to hit the note block. Okay. There we go. So now we can do that. Am 
Okay, so the... I need to do what I was saying and throw this shell at that turn block first. I can go through there. Hopefully it's all. Well, I can't even freaking see the screen when that happens. Okay, wait, so I need to I need to see what's on the next screen and pause over there next time we get over there. So the throne's like really confused. I guess I need to stand there and wait for the shell to do its thing or something. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So I jump from there to the right. No, no, I have to jump. I have to jump from here while the platform is active so I can go through those four vertical blocks and land on the other side. But then what would be the point of like that one green block and the blue thing above it? Maybe I can jump off of whatever that blue thing is. I don't even know what it is. Shout out to sprites that are so ambiguous that the player has no clue what they are. So glad that's a thing. It's definitely what we need. <clears throat> but yeah, at that rate I'd have to jump like way sooner. That might be like... I don't even know if I can make that timing. out so we're gonna do that <laughs> oh my god so that's just something that kills me and I think I was despawning the green shell um, So I don't need to, like, I don't get how I can go slower and wait for the green shell to go more to the right. I like I must be able to. What, why was it even bouncing back? Is it just like a chance at, like... I don't know, this is really confusing me. Like, 
I'm just like I'm guessing if it's gonna hit it or not and like every time I'm wrong there have been so many tricks where it's like that it's like it seems like it's going two different ways and like every time I guess it I'm wrong like I just don't even know dude Like, maybe I'm... <laughs> yeah, as if there would be time to screen scroll, right? So I need something to throw up. But like, how would I even get through there? Like... It's gotta be something to do with this. I don't know, like... I can spin jump off that, but like... I don't know, this might be the trick that breaks me because like I am so clueless about this. Um, Cause like I need it to go down and kill those guys, definitely. Or wait. No, no, okay, I think I understand now. That's a bomb. Like, it's it's really obviously looks exactly like the blue flame from the fishing boo, so yeah, yeah, of course it's a bomb. Great idea. Okay, so wait, I should probably still do this, I guess. Um, we kind of want to go right away, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, like go right on that one and jump from the get go. It's gonna be kind of a tight timing, but it'll be worth it to get this cycle, I'm pretty sure. Just when I thought all hope was lost, I realized that this stupid thing is a bomb. Oh, come on, I'm just gonna press the jump button. It's making me hesitate here. Being used to playing cautiously, I guess. Closer. Or we can just stop working, that's cool too. supposed to drop the bomb on this thing? Yeah, that, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Yeah, that almost works. If I even can wait one cycle to do that, it kind of depends on if this thing I'm killing over here or not counts for time. Okay, it does. It's really good. <laughs> Something with the momentum from this bomb keeps sending it off badly. Yeah, 
guess I kind of have to jump right away from there too, unsurprisingly. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm supposed to throw the bomb up and catch it and throw it up so it hits that chuck or something dude, like what the heck bro. I don't know why that's a thing. Throw the bomb up, is the timer gonna reset or something? time for that. It only seems like I can like get the bomb like maybe um get the bomb to the right enough after I hit the on off. Also I just realized I can do some do something to delay this. But I need to be I need to be close enough to get the bomb to go towards me, but far enough to not activate the on off. Nah, I don't I don't know if that's worth trying to do that strategy or not. It's probably better not to. <sighs> Bombs. Bombs, bomb timers, like re grabbing a bomb to reset the timer. It's all words that make sense, but I don't really understand these types of things. jump too soon there? Well, no, I, I know it's the problem. I'm not going on this fast cycle that I was trying to go on at first. All I have to do is get back to going on that, and we'll be golden. Yay. <laughs> yeah, let's look how easy that is. If I could just, like, not bounce to the right of this bomb one time. It's so hard to like do a short jump on this and grab it and go like oh, dude. I have to do it this quickly. I don't I don't really get why that seems like a thing we need to do. It it, it just sometimes it's there and sometimes it seems so like unrealistic. Um I 
don't know if there's any kind of delay tech stuff I can do or something. If there's just a slight bit delay, it works so much better. Instead of like waiting around here for like a million years and uh, if I throw the bomb forward, is it going to reset? Yes. Alright, well, found the solution. Thank god. Just gotta get good with my bomb handling. We've totally got it. Come on, man. I keep forgetting to jump right away now. I'm thinking too much about the bomb. Call me a guy from the Twilight Zone because I'm thinking about the bomb. <laughs> this is the perfect moment. Mario is peeking out to say hello. Yeah, I kind of want to take a short break anyway. My eyes are like, this below freezing weather sucks. I need to do a bunch of stuff and I might roll down my sleeves because my tattoos are pretty much fully healed. Come out quite nicely, but yeah, I'm going to take a short break, y'all, and then we will uh, continue. So enjoy the Mario peeking at you and the boo is up there and BRB.
<clears throat> Yo, what is up, y'all? So, um, yeah, let's totally get back to this gaming thing. I can't wait to beat this level because I don't really like go fast speedrun type of levels. It's like every level ever made, more or less. But yeah, it was kind of cold, so I got this blanket and like totally chilling. Um, oh, okay. I really forgot that was a Thwomp Sprite. Maybe Yoshi. Yoshi. Um, <laughs> this is the best save state ever. I really hope that's the thumbnail. So, I'm guessing we're just moving on. I hope when Yoshi dies, it gives me five seconds. I'm just, I'm just dropping him there. Okay, so I need to have baby Yoshi there. Throw him upwards while you're spinning. Not to be able to, right? Or wait. What the heck, dude? I'm gonna bring my keyboard over here. Oh, move all my stuff. There we go. A little better. Okay, so yeah, like what the heck? Wait, so I can throw him up while I'm spinning. I'm like the worst at throwing controls. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 I see. I was like, I'm taking this baby Yoshi with me, dang it. I feel like we probably will even need him after this as well. No, I need to throw him there on the way down. I mean, I probably will be able to just take him. I think we want to not have the baby Yoshi there. And not do that. No, not that. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna use a safe state there. Okay, I'm I'm definitely using a safe state there. What kind of what kind of crappy off screen jump is that? What like like okay, hold on, hold on, man. Like like do you think I'm some kind of like professional Super Smash Brothers player and like every tournament legal stage I know exactly the length of space that like that takes place off of the screen at the bottom and the sides, like Dude, I don't know how much space is down there, man. Like why do you expect me to know that? Why, why am I being expected to know that? I'm, just, I'm not a huge fan of that one. Oh. 
I'm, I'm still like, I, I should have used my save state, man. I just should have seen that one come in. I mean, I don't mind this part. It's just like, is, is that jump really as bad as I think? Or was I, was I just misunderstanding what was going on there? Cause it seems ridiculous. Goodbye, baby Yoshi. soon. I can't throw it back before the beat drops. No. Oh god. Oh wait, it still works. I, this is fine. So seriously, is, is this jump like... It's probably not as bad as it looks, but I'm I'm still not a fan. The keyword is probably. Like having this after all of that I I don't know how. I don't know how someone could do that unless you're just like Just, this just does not make sense, dude. attempts here like all right that was the closest attempt out of all the levels to like have this kind of trick in like I'm just like This is so much worse than the level where Mario was on his stomach the whole time <laughs> with the cape out. Like, I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to press start on this level and ask some serious questions in rhetorical fashion <laughs> to um, whoever it was. There's no way this was recolor of Mario or or blue recolor of Mario. That's what it says, it's a lie. From everything I've heard, I kind of like guess this is like a morsel uh, guest appearance. Unless... Why the heck am I back this far? Oh my god, this is horrible. Is there a way to bring Yoshi this far? No. But there might be. Yeah. 
Yeah, because this was like after the midway, right? So we'll soon be uh, done with this level. Awesome. All right, I'm, let's see if I can remember. So like the baby Yoshi threw at the side platform Bounce off the Koopa shell and the Koopa. Go to the right. End up here where there's a bomb, which we need to throw up there to get the time. Or like, I mean, that's a lot of time. I mean, we kind of need all of that time. Well, it'd be a lot easier with Yoshi, so... I'm just gonna alternate between trying to get to the point where we get Yoshi and see what's up and going for stupid spin jumps off that, probably for no reason. For no reason, when it's 30 below freezing, flavor with no seasoning, this is a sneak preview. I'll diss your magazine and still won't get a weak review. <laughs> uh, Eminem lyrics. I'll make a freak leave you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that, that's enough of the lyrics. That's a good place to end off. But yeah, shout outs to 21 Savage, because uh, I'm going to have to make commands for like all the rappers I like. Um, because there's many. There are many talented rappers who have made excellent music with some excellent bars that I like. And so, uh, they will all get a command in my Twitch chat. And then once I'm a more, uh, renowned entertainer, a bunch of rappers will come in my stream and be like, hey, you should make a command for me, what about this bar, bro? And I'll just be like, yeah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> or it depends who it is. If it's somebody really cool, I'll be like, hell yeah. And then if somebody I'm like, not as cool, I'm like, yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> sorry, my friend. It, it wouldn't be all guys. Um, and go with a gender neutral term there because but um yeah in honor of the needle drop off to include one for sexy red that's that's his favorite rapper i believe i might be wrong i might be wrong it it seems like that's his favorite rapper <laughs> that, that's just the feeling i get but um from the content he's made, but it could all just be part of the content plan or something. But I don't know, it seems it seems like he might pretty genuinely uh, be a strong fan. I'm just like trying to remember like how, I don't know, it seems like it wouldn't be a Yoshi jump because then like why would it seem so much like we might be able to get up there. Seeming like I can jump longer than I think I can. I'm just gotta get the lowest one possible, bro. Just put her one time. Just gotta pause on the right of the platform. And wait for my time, wait for my moment. It kind of is the letter R, right? It all makes sense now.
everything in the universe makes sense. I've had a revelation. <laughs> Get wrecked, boy. Oh, dang it. I forgot even what I was doing. Okay, so... Oh. Alright, well, that was a really good run for not having been to that part in, like, a while or something. It's really hard to, um, nice. It's really hard to save that, um, when the bomb goes the wrong way. I don't even know how you really could. Maybe something involving a spin jump? Better to just stand close enough to it. Stop going that way. I'm always gonna remember that part of this song now since I <laughs> tried to spin jump to the right there so many times. I was ignoring the huge letter R. I haven't been watching enough orator lately, lol. Went with the bad timing there. <laughs> That's literally like so perfect also. <laughs> the best save state. I didn't really realize how exactly that lined up until just now. Okay, but anyway. I have a theory about why the longer VODs of me playing Super Mario World get watched. Because, um, one theory, which I do not believe, <laughs> is that people want to see, like, longer videos, so that's why they're... Yeah, I didn't kill one of those Koopas, um, but yeah, and... okay. Yeah, I wanted to do that so I don't burn through the lives. I might have already said that, I forgot, but anyway. Um, the main point is I think that the longer Super Mario World vibes get views, not because people want to watch the whole thing, which shout out to people who do actually watch the whole thing, because that's the kind of viewer I am for this type of content. Um, also, R.A.P. There's gotta be some other people out there just like me. Well, sort of like me, not like just like me, but um, R.E.P. Um, okay, let's just pause this. I can talk. The speed run level and talking thing is so annoying, dude. Um, I think the longer Super Mario World vods get views because people get a look at what level I'm playing and then scroll to the end to see like oh my god like the moment where i'm like oh my god finally gg or something like i usually just have a pretty dry reaction anyway so it's anticlimactic for all of those uh <laughs> extremely short-term viewers i guess you can call it no i don't have anything against those people i mean that's pretty much all of my youtube views so shout out to all those guys but there's been a rare few times where um, people watch like a whole one of my videos or something and I'm, I'm sure it's happened more than once or twice um, <laughs> because I've done it myself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, it doesn't really bother me that much. Like I get that people have rapid fire attention span and I'm not, I like have a lot of opinions about that, but I'm not gonna, like, make it my goal to, like, try to change that for people. 
as it relates to my own content. But I do like to encourage people to get on Yoshi and fail, lol. Um, I do like to encourage people to listen through albums straight through. Wait, what the heck, bro? Whatever. Um, I don't know, because like, I think listening to albums straight through is cool. And I recommend if you never have listened to any albums straight through to not start with one of mine, because they're really long. <laughs> Unless you want to like split it in half and treat it like two albums. But it doesn't really like make sense, right? Let's just, let's just do this as well. I had that other save state for the sake of lives, but this one kind of can be as well or whatever. Okay, so... I think I know... I think I know what's gonna happen. And if I'm right, we're gonna want to be on a pretty quick timer, which I kind of just did. Right. I eat one of those fruits, there's nothing that can do the on-off switch. So I don't think it's that. That's like we didn't... this Yoshi is supposed to eat, dude. Yeah, like that wall is set up just perfectly so like Yoshi couldn't eat the explosion from the bomb. I think that's actually a thing, but like... I don't know. Try going really fast. something that you can eat other than the bomb so we can do the on off thing, right? Unless there's something different going on here. Nah, I'm pretty sure we need to do that throw block. Yeah, because we can't like jump up and grab Yoshi out of that. Yeah, 
I don't know if there's any way Yoshi can like eat this explosion after those fish have died. Oh wait, yeah, he can because he's the baby Yoshi. Uh, wow, so easy. I don't care. I don't care. Since I figured out how to beat this level, no looking up a playthrough, I don't even care, dude. Uh, I'm not even ready to get out of here. I just, I want to let it sink in since the end is in sight. Um, bomb. Yoshi, oh. Uh, Oh, what? <laughs> How the heck did you do that, Yoshi? Okay, that was too slow. That was funny, though. Yeah, having my heater on is so loud. That thing is so distracting. I don't want to deal with that when I'm sleeping. Second Kaiser block. Hmm. Color me surprised. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been motivated to do this. Good boy in Aardvark. God. Oh God, why? See, I, I knew I knew that this level was good. Friend Spring was so good, man. All right, now I was thinking of, I was once a bird. Fainéant, I really like this. Um, wait, which one was this again? Oh yeah, this one. No, this this totally gives me a blue recolor of Mario vibe. The awesome ghost house level from before. Adios. All right, so now we go on to peak level design. Well, it's not a speed run. So uh, thank goodness for that. I think this one is the one level creator is this guy, man. <laughs> oh yeah, no, so I probably have to get over to that one up there, because that's pretty hard to get to. Why does it look like there's something up above there? This is the worst platform. Oh, there is a lot up there. Oh god.
Yeah, this level creator definitely has like a particular uh, flair to their to their style or something. It's a great job. <laughs> Okay. What's going on? Like, I, how am I gonna get up there, dude? Definitely seems like you need to slide in from up above. trying to build P speed down here but like, I don't even think that would really help with anything. I'm just totally like out of ideas for this. So let's see, um, I don't think this guy can do anything for us either. Thank you. 
All right, let's just go back over here. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Like, I'm kind of really not sure. This might have to be the one where I cave in and look up where the, what the heck's going on here. Okay, so like, hit the on-off switch. Does that change anything over here? change anything except for those two so like I'm surprised that wasn't the way to uh, get the hidden block I'm gonna do some research real quick. Um, what was this called? Awesome level design or uh, peak level design? Yeah. No, that that's that's true. All right, so I uh, learned about, um, oh, it could have been closer to me the whole time. Okay, that's cool. 
The end. Something, I don't know, maybe I just needed to turn around, I guess. Turn around every now and then I get sort of confused because this game has a lot of tricks that I don't know. Turn around. It's a really good song, by the way, for people who don't know that. It's definitely a classic song, so probably a lot of you young people out there will not be familiar with the song is called like turn around or something kind of about that really did that like this. Probably not. Yeah, I didn't watch a full playthrough of this level. I just watched like a little bit of what happens after this. And by the time we get there, I'll even forget what I saw anyway, so. Like, I just don't get how we can build up speed here. I thought they just like jumped a few times and then did that, but I'm not even sure. Or wait, maybe I know what to do. Hold jump. <laughs> uh, of course. So that goes like too much. Okay, well we're on the right track at least. like be holding jump and then let like, go of it, I think. Alright. Yeah, these kind of levels are really tough for me, so I'm gonna be uh taking this one one step at a time. Oh god. Yeah, th this is the this is Team Jank. This level definitely is uh seems a Team Jank vibe. It's part of how the team got the name or something maybe. <laughs> okay, so like I think I should try to jump off this like on my way back down. that that was right but yeah yeah that was okay so we are not sliding into these guys both I, oh so I need to like slide under it okay this is cool I, I don't know why we didn't uh, start with something like this um, I think that might have been a better better way Um, 
yeah, this is definitely a huge improvement, IMO. Also, a nice sprite. Um, okay, so now what happens? Okay, okay, nice. Oh, that's what kind of sprite that is. Okay, I think I, I think I know what, how this will go. Like we'll slide down this and then slide up that one. Okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, I was back here, whatever, whatever. Even if you do everything right, you have to sit through this time up screen at least one time. At least one time you will sit through the time up screen. <laughs> no other way. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going up to the right. What kind of twisted idea was this? Oh my god, dude, this... Just two triangle platforms are so horribly arranged. You have to jump like right at the start of that. I don't know, you're not, me, yeah, you're supposed to jump twice, okay. Okay, fair enough. So... Do like a crouching jump, try to land in there, and then go to the right, go to the left. <laughs> and then I'll just mix it up and go to the right, just for the heck of it. Now this is a nice quick retry. I mean, this level might be really jank, but at least there's this. <laughs> just vibing. after this part. It is. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Ah, uh, 
that's why I was spin jumping there. <sighs> nice. I'm really kind of like excited for this level to be over. Okay, um... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is way too easy. It's way too easy. There's no way that's all right. Okay, I mean, yeah, just the timing. I mean, it's probably isn't too bad. Maybe famous last words. Yeah, that was, that was pretty close. So you want to actually go a little bit like later. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, we're climbing, guys. This is uh, getting over it with Mario and Team Jank. Oh god, why am I doing so well? I'm definitely gonna fall like any second now. Oh yeah, no. It's a good thing I've got mad skills, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna not fail this at all. I almost didn't fail it at all. I was one jump away. If I would have just came over here and seen my objective before impulsively starting my journey. isn't even that bad I was just like I was I was really thinking that was it I, I, I was just I was so there I was I was so there man like those last two are also the tiny platforms I keep like forgetting that gotta jump quickly off of those This level is like tripping me out, bro. GG. Honestly, GG. That, that was something else. It's definitely something else. Alright. Big GG's in the chat. So what is that now? 40, 46, I think? Let's see. Ding, 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 ding. 45. Not trying to not get ahead of myself here, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we did. So we did these four. And now we get to go to jump switch force. something I guess. Okay, so, okay. Pretty neat. So what, like run under it? Or? Oh yeah, I need to be holding jump. Alright. 
Over to the left. Mm, okay. I think I can wait after the saw falls down. Oh wait, no, never mind, never mind. I, mean, I can wait for a second, that was kind of helpful. <laughs> what the heck am I gonna do from that tiny two block platform on the right? jump there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright, well, this, this level's cool, though. This is cool. Um... Looks like I would jump where the left and right arrows are to the right to that two block in the air. I'm not even like mad, like this level is really fun. I just really want to freaking figure this out. I think if I was holding jump there, I'd be fine. I always forget to do that. Imagine holding the button that gives you more time to react to things. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going, don't know where I've been. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but um... Okay, so let's see if I can not die. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Almost got me. Almost got me, bro. Is this really a pick a pipe section? Does this level actually have that? Okay. Wait. Wait. What? Uh, what? what? <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even go in the pipe. This is ridiculous. <laughs> nice. Okay, that pipe was a pretty huge distraction. That extremely dank pipe. That was a good enough distraction that you did get me that time. Oh, I see. Aha! Oh, I actually lived. Yeah, this level was great. That was, that was very fun. I like that part. Um, okay. Rack. So <laughs> you want to like try to keep him contained? That's really funny. Okay. Oh, there he goes. He's on the loose. 
Oh, you actually want him to be on the loose. Okay. Opposite of what I thought. Oop. Let's go to the right. Oh my god, why did you do that? I mean, I could have actually gone on the pipe in the level's defense. Um, <laughs> I like how you grab the midway again. That is so redundant and stupid. And just so you can get the mushrooms, you can go through the damage boost section. But I digress. Rack. Mm. Oh, what the heck am I thinking? My mind is switching. Oh, wait, so. Wait, did I load my save state to get the midway again? so bad at thinking about this. It's not even complicated. <laughs> um. screen scroller friendly so people who don't like remember to use screen scroll or don't want to use it or something can even uh, respawn this amazing fireball. to do with this thing, man. I gotta get some lives after this before we go to H. I think there's one more level in this section as well, or this world, or whatever you want to call it. Wait now, yeah. 
You can't even get that if you're up against the wall is the funny part. So many people got baited. believe how quick I got through this on the first run. I'm, and there must be like a really good cycle you can get at you know, the beginning of all this uh all of this. some universal cycle what just from whatever angle it starts at it's just so annoying dude part of the song. I don't remember hearing the melody on that extremely high-pitched synthesizer. Okay, nice one. Real final. Six. Real final time. So, uh, you're at three hours and nine minutes. It's 9 17 p.m. It's sort of the time of no return. Do I start the real final or, um, nah, I think I'm gonna save it honestly. Like, my eyes are just so, like, I don't know, tired or sore from this cold weather. 33 degrees. Uh, it's gonna warm up a little tomorrow, that'll be nice. <laughs> I can't believe it's been freezing cold and then like, whatever, yeah, like 10 days from now, that the end of the 10 day forecast, there's a low of 59, high of 70. Climate change stuff is real, guys. Especially for people who live really near the coast. Like, I could definitely play more, but like, it's, it's my it's during my work week, so um, this is just one of those moments where I'm personally feeling like it would be cool to have a lot of viewers and uh, be a professional streamer. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know if people enjoy to watch my content so much or if it's more just uh, me talking to myself and some of my homies. Got a few, few homies chilling the stream. Maybe some are watching right now. 
Um, yeah, shout out to all you people who've been supporting my content. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end it off there. It'll be kind of hype to start with the real final. I kind of like to have like the real final level and the bonus final levels um, in the same thing whenever I can do it. And I mean, we just beat this four level gauntlet, so like. Oh, look at this body of iron. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. So um, I hope you enjoy the stream. Thank you all for supporting my content. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you're watching this on Twitch, feel free to drop a follow like Maki Mac did uh, eight hours ago when I was not streaming. So, uh, yeah, that, that's always really cool when I get on OBS and I'm like, oh, somebody else followed me. Nice. So, yeah, support means a lot, guys. And, um, yeah, I'll be streaming more tomorrow and especially this coming weekend. I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys on the upcoming content and everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, if you guys are having some cold weather on uh, January 17th, 2024, hope you also will be staying warm and all that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, peace out. <laughs>